I'm a comic book sniffer. Are you? Does this look weird to you? Well, if it does, then you are not a hardcore comic book collector. Hello to all of my comic book sniffers. Dante D here, and welcome to the channel where we talk about comic books and other geek stuff. In a video that we posted a little while ago, I mentioned something about being a comic book sniffer and really enjoying the smell of old comic books. And so many people reached out to me and told me that they really like doing the same thing. Like, this is actually a thing. Comic book sniffing is a thing. Kind of like smelling a fine wine or the aroma of a fresh picked porcini mushroom or fragrant truffles. That is how I consider the smell of comic books. And I think it's another reason why a lot of comic book collectors are not warming up to digital comics as quickly as the industry had intended. Yes, we all like to hold the book in our hands. I personally do not like reading digital, digital because the feeling of turning a page is just so satisfying. But I don't think I really could do without my smelling ritual. And what I mean by that is turning the page and then just taking a whiff of comic books. So today we're gonna to talk a little bit about why comic books smell so good. Why do people actually mostly like the smell of comic books? What we're really smelling when we're reading an old comic book is the acid and all of the chemicals used in the printing of, comic, of the comic book like in the ink, also uh, in the paper, because a lot of acid back then needed to be used to process the paper. But it's also all those chemicals reacting with just the natural elements like light, moisture, and also heat. We can't forget about heat as well. I think the best way to describe the smell of an old comic book is a grassiness with an underlying hint of vanilla and acids and an overall mustiness. That's the best really way I can really think to describe the smell of an old comic book. People who generally like the smell of old comic books also really like the smell of old books as well. Uh, if you're like me, I love walking into libraries full of old books and just that, that smell is just, it's just so wonderful. I love it. Now, if you've been collecting comic books for a while, you probably have noticed that newer comic books and older comic books really smell different. The newer ones don't smell as good as the older ones, at least in my opinion. Uh, whenever I buy a newer comic book, I find it smells a little bit more like pottery, more than grass like the older comic books do. And I really think that's just because of the type of paper that they're using in comic books nowadays. I've complained time and time again on this channel that I really do not like and do not care for the type of paper that they're using to print comic books nowadays just because it is high, higher quality. Absolutely, you can't compare the quality of the paper uh, with what they were using back then. But overall, the, it, I think the comic books kind of lose their charm by printing them on higher quality paper because at the end of the day, you're taking comic books away from their roots. Comic books are, at the heart, pulp. They, they were always considered to be pulp, a version of pulp magazines. And by printing them on this higher quality paper, you're really kind of taking them, taking them away from these roots and trying to make them something that they're really not. And the other reason why I don't like newer comic books is because when you're trying to read them, you get this really terrible glare. If you're reading right underneath a light or you're reading with a reading light, it's, it's just horrible. You do not get that with older comic books. Now, it's really interesting because comic books printed in different periods really have their own distinct smell. A Golden Age comic will not smell the same as a Silver Age comic, and a Silver Age comic definitely will not smell the same as a Bronze Age comic or a comic printed, say, in the 1990s. Now, the way that paper was processed and the types of inks and the chemicals used to treat uh, the paper and the ink changed over the years, that is something that we definitely have to consider when considering the different smells that comic books give off. But we also have to consider time, just the natural process of the comic book's aging. How can you tell if your comic book is really aging? Well, when you open a comic book, if you're starting to see 
quite a bit of browning. Well, that browning really means that that paper is deteriorating. When comic books deteriorate, they not only change color, but they also give off different gases and different smells. Think of it as comic books farting. What happens in your intestines when your body is processing all the food you ate? It not only decomposes it, but it also releases different gases, which we know as fart. Yes, people, your comic books fart. If you have two comic books that were printed around the same time and they have two different smells, well, that you can attribute to the type of environment in which they were stored. Comic books are actually notorious for absorbing the smells of their surroundings. Uh, they are very, very notorious for absorbing the smell of smoke. So for you smokers out there, if you're smoking around your comic books, you really shouldn't because they're making your comic books stink. And overall, there's also that thing of, you know, smoking being bad for you. It's actually really funny because when I've taken comic books out of my house and I've read them, say, somewhere else out in the community, they actually smell a little bit like my house. It's actually really kind of cool how comic books will absorb those smells that are in its surroundings. Now, unfortunately, because comic books were printed on cheap paper, the rate at which they deteriorate is increased. So if you're not taking care of your comic books, they will pretty much cease to exist within the next 20 to 30 years. The best way you should store your comic books is in an area where it is cool, where it is dry, and where it is going to be completely out of direct sunlight. If you really want to see a cool experiment, leave a comic book that you don't care about right underneath direct sunlight and see what happens to it. I'm telling you, the results are not pretty. Now, there's been a lifelong discussion among comic book fans over if you should store your comic books either in a basement or in a garage or even in an attic. Generally, I would say that it's not a good idea, but there are a few exceptions. I'm in my basement. I store all of my comic books in my basement, but my basement is finished and the humidity is strictly controlled with a dehumidifier. And I also have a humidity gauge down here to tell me how humid it is. I never allow the humidity to rise above 50%. And if you are going to store your comic books in the basement, it is a great idea to keep them elevated, just like I have my comic books back here. They are all in shelves off the floor. So if your basement ever does, God forbid, flood, then they are protected. So that is basically comic book smell in a nutshell and how you can keep your comic books smelling great for the years to come. Now, as I mentioned, there are different smells for different comic books. I have to say personally, my favorite smell comes from the Bronze Age. I think that there isn't a better smelling comic book than comic books that were printed in the Bronze Age. Let me know if you agree, uh, are your favorite comic book smells coming out of the Bronze Age or the Silver Age or heck, even the Golden Age. And there might be a few of you crazy people out there who like the smell of modern comic books. Let me know in the comments. So that about does it for our video today. Really, really hope that you enjoyed it. Let me know, are you a big comic book sniffer? Are you like me? Do you smell your comic book every time you turn the page? I'm telling you, it's actually a thing. It is not weird. Until next time, this is Dante D signing off. I will see you all in the next episode.